We're taking a budget deck to locals. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're doing another locals vlog. But in this vlog, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of playing the typical decks that we play, I wanted to revisit Dino. However, something that kept being brought up in my Discord server is how can you play Dino without Brown Zeno? And more than that, it was how can you play Dino on a budget? So what I wanted to do today is take a budget version of Dino to locals and see how well we can do with it now i'm gonna pass it off to past spanko because i went on tcg player and you guys are not gonna believe how cheap this entire deck including the side deck is gonna be what is going on guys past spanko here and i'm here to show you guys that this budget deck that i'm taking is actually gonna cost you a total with shipping of 69 dollars and 43 cents less than 70 dollars to build a main deck an extra deck and a side deck and that's including shipping as well you guys can see there's 70 items total over here 40 cards in the main deck 15 in the extra deck and 15 in the side deck equates to 70 that's some quick maths for y'all so yeah 69 dollars over here and that's all you need and you guys are going to see everything is right here i'm going to show you guys a quick deck profile just so you guys kind of are aware what the deck looks like now this is kind of what the deck is looking like we're playing ov baby petite i'm not going to go through it in depth i just kind of want to show you guys some of my choices here here. the dino stuff is pretty typical i would say like there's nothing too much to change here with the dino stuff i'm still choosing to go with the scrap engine even though you guys can see in the extra deck we're actually not playing savage dragon savage dragon is about 10 bucks so technically in my building on a budget series usually i try to keep it under a hundred dollars so we could have kind of squeezed it in if we wanted to and pushed it up to like 80 bucks but i really wanted to keep it as budget as possible for you guys so for that reason i'm still playing the scrap package even without the savage because i still think Think it's a package that helps you link climb helps you get into boral sword as well which helps you otk and this is a going second build of dino by the way so we want to go second with this build we want to be able to break boards and otk so i like this package of course the typical stuff book of moon in the main deck i think is really good of course book of moon synergizes really well with conductor but on top of that it's a card that's good going first and second and it's just really good in today's format against purely against uh, a rise heart like Koshtura, against a lot of big boss monster book of moon is really good we're playing the harpies i'm actually now that i'm looking at this i might change it up so i'm playing two cyclone because going second you know one of the hardest things that we have to deal with is back row and uh i think cosmic cyclone is pretty good into today's format i mean mana Diem puts up the counter trap and everyone ends on at least one to two back row so that's why i like cosmic cyclone but now that i think about it I actually might just main deck 3 dd crow here instead you know what we'll see what uh changes we make when we get to locals maybe uh i change this out maybe i play 3 dd crow in the main but regardless we're playing a total of 10 hand traps at this moment we're playing three ash three droll three veiler and the one dd crow 40 cards extra deck pretty standard stuff dolka logia all these link monsters over here i really like asa actually because we have a lot of earth monsters especially with the scrap package and also is really good into something like kashtara because you can take a fenrir from the graveyard which is really really powerful so this is pretty standard stuff i would say and then for the side deck here we're actually playing the bestials i think bestials are actually really good into today's format um into certain decks i would say into today's format magnum Root's a little bit expensive you can maybe bump up the price to Druis worm Druis worm i think about two bucks a pop these are like 10 cents a pop so that's why i decided to go with these literally the most budget option possible but you guys can go to Druis worm about two bucks a pop it would probably make it like about 75 dollars total if you guys did that Druis worm is maybe a little bit better with magna you can technically fit it into the budget but uh i wanted to keep it as cheap as possible so ball Drake gets the job done 2500 beater going second is also really good because it helps you go to k push for more damage uh, more dd crows here however again the dd crows here might go into the main deck and these might be pushed over to the side deck eclipse is really good going second and then when we're forced to go first barrier is really good into a lot of decks anti-spell is really good into a lot of decks so that's it you guys can see right there total of 69 dollars for this entire deck 70 items over here with shipping that's it 69 dollars you guys can build this deck and play this deck so with that being said let's get back into local spanko and see how the deck performs so the entire deck literally costs you under $70, which is absolutely insane. Locals is about to start soon, so we got to make our way over there. And I guess I'll see you guys when we're there. So today we're actually not going to Untouch. We're actually going to the Upper Hand, which is a Locals I don't come to too often. But it's a really cool Locals. I want to show you guys around real quick. 
it's already kind of busy the Yu-Gi-Oh guys are all here so i'm excited to get to get a going so this is actually going to be our game two of round one we end up winning game one and game one was pretty ugly i'm not gonna lie but you guys are gonna see here if you ash unchained correctly they are kind of in a weird predicament and because all the dino combos are two card combos even though that you're playing budget dino you're still able to make a pretty massive board here you guys are gonna see we're gonna go into appaloosa plus a tyranno plus a dugaris which should in theory be enough for game but because he had the trap here we couldn't go for game however we end up making IP he has dark hole and chalice to stop and break the board but I show him fossil dig and he scoops it up all right so we just finished with our round one we actually ended up taking it 2-0 against unchained I'm gonna be honest I don't know if unchained just bricks like crazy or if that's honestly just what the deck loses to. I did not open great, especially game one. Game two, I opened pretty okay, but game one was absolutely atrocious, but we still ended up getting it, which was really, really nice. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I made a blunder in game one. I made a Logia off of uh, Chimera and uh, Raptor, which I can't make, because Logia needs two dinos. But in hindsight, it didn't really actually change the game state, and I even said, so you guys are gonna see the full duels on the duel channel. So if you guys haven't checked out the duel channel, make sure to go check that out, subscribe to that one as well. But you guys are gonna see that it didn't actually make a difference to the game because my opponent ended up scooping anyways even without the log i asked him afterwards i was like oh did the log you make a difference and i conductor as well and he was like no the conductor was good enough so it didn't really matter what i had on board it would have ended up the same way so luckily our opponent was cool and didn't get super mad about that but we're gonna make it to round two now it's a three round local so it's a smaller locals but we're gonna play three rounds hopefully if we can go two and one then we actually end up topping but if we just go three and oh that would be way better so let's get into our round two one of these guys are gonna be my round two and i'm kind of scared it's Manadia versus Chimera branded. Uh, even though you guys see a Fenrir, there's a little patchwork there. Uh, it's gonna be a scary round too, I'm not gonna lie. So what you guys are seeing here is actually game three of a round two. We're up against branded Chimera. Game one, I had Ash for Brand Diffusion. Game two, he had Ash for Misk. So games one and two were pretty boring. Game three is where it gets spicy. Regardless, that's fine. Okay, let's just pray he doesn't have the Ash. Come on. For the Activity fans. Oh! It resolves! <laughs> His miss resolves. <laughs> <laughs> Game. Turns out all you need is Misk to resolve in Dino and you're always gonna win the game. You guys are gonna see I'm able to full combo. I'm even able to make Asa, which is going to let me take his Fenrir from the graveyard. And that's absolutely busted because now I'm able to just push for a ton of damage and actually just go for game. 2 and 0, oh, baby. 2 and 0. Oh. I was playing against Chimera Branded. I don't even know what that was, to be honest with you. I know the deck pretty well. I sided in the Bistials, I sided in the DD Crows. Baldrake, I think, came up once in game two but uh, i didn't see dd crows at all which was kind of iffy overall though we went 2-0 and which is really good we ended up winning the round which is really really nice our opponent you know when they don't have the ash for misc because ash on misc is absolutely insane but when they don't have the ash on the misc it's a really really powerful deck i will say the reason i like coming out here is because it's really loud inside but on top of that i'm wearing a sweater and it's like 25 degrees celsius right now i don't know what that is in american fahrenheit guys i'm sorry but it's it's really hot so i keep coming outside so i can get some fresh air and like you know loosen up a little bit i wore a sweater because this morning when i went to work it was really cold and now it's not cold i probably should have got a t-shirt or two and oh two and oh baby all right let's go three and oh and we end up winning today's locals guys this is really embarrassing i just wanted to tell you guys this story so i'm coming to my car right now just because i wanted to grab water because i forgot my water in my car and <laughs> I go to another car that's like the same color as mine and I just start trying to open the door and it's not opening so I keep trying to unlock it with my keys and it's not unlocking and I'm like bro what the hell's going on I look up it's not my car so hopefully people don't think I was just robbing them because I wasn't trying to do that but yeah we're at my car now so we're, we're safe we're safe so we're now in our finals and this is game one who knew that our finals round would be against speedroid you guys are going to see that he's going to be able to play through both a droll and dd crow and end on an apple and i actually just couldn't be apple with my hand there because i opened like baby and some names and i couldn't really do much game two over here goes much better we're able to full combo as you guys see and when you're able to full combo with dino you're able to set up a really really powerful board so he just scoops it up game three I literally have a really good hand, and he flips over the one and only Gozen match right over here, and I literally can't out the Gozen match, so I scoop it up game three, and we end up losing that final round. We are leaving upper hand. Big shout out to the store. Big shout out to Alpha for coming with me. Fun fact, he didn't want to come with me today. I still wish I wasn't here. 
We ended up going X1. Again, it's a three round local, so it's a smaller locals. But X1 is not bad. I mean, our only loss was in the finals to Speedroid of all things, which by the way, I got the deck profile. So if you guys want to see the deck profile, make sure to subscribe and be on the channel so you guys can see more because uh, Speedroid Koshter is kind of nuts. It's legit. Well, it only plays one Koshter card, but it just synergizes so well. I really have not here, Alpha, you know what? You vlog while I put myself away. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <coughs> Are you gonna get me sick? Give me my phone back. All right, yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to see the duels, all the replays is gonna be on the duel channel. We didn't really grab anything fun or anything like spicy today, to be honest with you. The locals was a lot smaller than uh, Untouchables usually is, so. We couldn't really do anything spicy. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko. Oh, wait, I wanted to tell them. I wanted to say, Budget Dino is playable. The deck is actually not too bad. I just wish you could afford one more draw card. But Prosperity gets reprinted soon. So maybe Prosperity gets put into these budget decks. $70, Budget Dino. The deck's playable. Play it yourselves. The deck's fun. Thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spanko, signing out. Peace.